fans, and welcome to the Michelle Joseph Coaches Show. I'm Mindy Hilton, and with me today is head coach Michelle Joseph, and we're ready to talk about some Georgia Tech women's basketball. Now, Coach, I have to start by complimenting you on last year's amazing season. 09-10 season, won four years in a row, again, 20 wins, four years in a row appearances at the NCAA tournament, and not only 20 wins, 23 wins, which is a season's record best. Coming off of an amazing season like that, what kind of expectations do you have for this year's team? Well, we definitely haven't lowered the bar at all. Um, we've definitely, if anything, we've raised the bar with the competitive schedule that we put in place, playing Connecticut on November 21st at home, uh, and also playing Georgia, but also traveling over to the Virgin Islands and taking on Tennessee. Not too many programs take on UConn and Tennessee in the same week. So we obviously have, have stepped up our non-conference schedule, but we're very excited about this team and the players that we return. Um, we have uh, you know, eight upperclassmen, which is the most we've ever had in my uh, tenure here as head coach. So um, we've always competed at the, in a, one of the best conferences in women's basketball in the ACC with only four underclassmen or less. So to have eight upperclassmen gets us very excited about the upcoming season. Speaking of those upperclassmen, we have three returning players, Sasha Goodlett, Alex Montgomery, Deja Foster. Do you lean on them a lot to really guide some of those younger players, you know, especially with the seasons that they've had coming off? Well, there's no doubt, um, obviously, that Alex and Deja have, uh, seniors have been impact players in this program from the day they came, stepped on campus. Alex Montgomery has started as a freshman and um, obviously has been one of our uh, premier players over the last three years. And De Deja Foster, over her sophomore and junior year, has come on to be one of the best defenders in the ACC and one of the, one of the premier athletes in the entire conference. So we obviously depend on them a lot to get us going on the defensive end. Obviously, Alex has played multiple positions, everything from point guard to, to shooting guard to small forward. So she's very versatile, and, and we depend on her leadership on the offensive end. And, and then Sasha Goodlett, she, at the end of last year, um, really has come into her own. She started for us um, every game of her career. Um, she's just been a tre tremendous impact player. Um, but we're looking for big things from Sasha Goodlett uh, in 2010-11. In well, we're excited to see all our veteran players back this year, and we actually have a lot of new faces this year. We have a new assistant coach. We have four new freshmen. Uh, tell us a little bit about these new additions to the team. Well, we're really excited about our staff, this, uh, our new staff. We've actually um, added three new people uh, to our staff, and uh, Jim Lewis is um, a veteran coach who has over 30 40 years of experience uh, at the college and pro level. His most recent stint was at uh, the, the, in the WNBA with the Indiana Fever. He was also the head coach of the Washington Mystics in the WNBA and a head coach at Division One College, uh, George Mason, for over 20 years. So uh, to add him to our staff was a tremendous addition. Um, looking forward to him working with our post players because he's that's his uh, forte and he's uh, just done a tremendous job at the pro level developing post players. So I'm very excited about our, for our players uh, to have Jim on board. And then we also add Lindsay Moss, who's our director of um, recruiting operations, and also Monique Gavon, who is our director of basketball operations. So we uh, fairly fairly young staff, new staff, but also um, with a veteran with with a veteran like Jim Lewis. In addition to Octavia Blue and and Jean Hill, I feel like it's one of the best staffs in the ACC. We're excited to have them join the team. I'm really looking forward to see what they're going to have for us this year. And we also have some new freshmen on the team. Tell us a little bit about those girls. Well, we have four uh, new players, new freshman players, but a total of six new players for the court. Okay. Um, we have um, da Danielle Hamilton Carter, who uh, last year as a freshman uh, did not play. She will be eligible to play on December the 5th against Georgia. Uh, right here will be her first game in a, in a yellow jacket uniform, and we're it's a highly anticipated debut because uh, she is a tremendous talent, uh, probably one of the most talented uh, post players to step on the flats uh, since I've been the head coach at Georgia Tech. And, and then in addition to that, um, we had a red shirt uh, guard, a transfer uh, that is uh, uh, currently a walk-on, um, Erica, and she's just done a tremendous job for us. So we'll have two, six new players. Uh, the four freshmen, um, two of them are from Sweden. Uh, Frida Fodgmark is um, a freshman from S Stockholm, Sweden, and um, Sandra, another uh, post player from Sweden, is also uh, a freshman. And then we, we bring in uh, Dawn May, who is uh, one of the top 25 
uh, recruits in the country, one of the top point guards, most heralded point guards we've ever signed at Georgia Tech. Um, we're looking forward to seeing what she will, the additions that she'll bring. And then with, in addition to that, Tiana Marshall uh, from Maryland, uh, just a tremendous athlete that fits our system on the offensive and defensive end. So we're really excited to see the, what those six players will be able to contribute throughout the course of the season. Hey, well, we're glad to have them. And Frida Fodgmark from Sweden, she might be brand new to Tech's program coming in as a freshman, but she's very familiar with one of her teammates, uh, Danny Hamilton Carter. The two of them got to play together this summer in the European Championships for the Swedish team. And Coach, you got to actually go to Latvia and support them. Right. How was that? Well, it was a tremendous opportunity for those two young ladies. I mean, uh, the fact that Danny was fifth in the entire European Championships in scoring just got me excited in the fact that I know what she's going to be able to contribute at the, at, at the college level. Um, she, it was great to see her actually compete and play in a game. I've watched her practice for a year, but to actually see her in a game-like situation was exciting. And then, you know, you look at uh, Frida was uh, seventh in the European Championships in rebounding, averaged almost eight rebounds a game from a guard position. So it was exciting for me to see those two compete at that level, but also just the, the international travel and the experiences that they had. Um, you know, and the fact that I got to go to Latvia to, to watch them firsthand was exciting for me. Um, and then at the conclusion of the tw under-20 European Championships, Danielle Hamilton Carter was named to the senior national team. So I was really excited for her um, to get that, you know, get that opportunity. And she went to Canada and competed with the Swedish national team. So obviously her, her future on the international scene is bright, only a sophomore in college and already on the senior national team. So we're excited for her and looking forward to the contributions that both of them will make this season. Yeah. Well, as you can see, we have a lot to look forward to this season. We have several veterans coming back. We have some new faces, some new staff members. It's going to be a lot of action, and we don't want you to miss it. Season tickets are on sale now. They're as low as $45. And we also have the Gold Pack available. The Georgia Tech Gold Pack features three games for $20. And not just any three games, three big games, UGA, UConn, and Northwestern. You can't beat that. Tell us a little bit about those three games and those matchups. Well, the fact that UConn is on the schedule, I mean, the fact that you can get a season ticket, uh, senior citizens and children for $45, adults $60, you get the entire season tickets. So that's a ticket to uh, watch the two-time defending national champion, the UConn Huskies, also to watch Georgia at home, um, also an opportunity to watch the Big Ten ACC Challenge at home with Georgia Tech versus Northwestern. And then you, get, then you take into consideration, you get all the ACC games at home. Uh, we have North Carolina here, we have Maryland here, we have Virginia here. So it's, it's for $60, I don't know that you can, it's the greatest bargain in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just really excited um, about being able to offer um, the, the gold pack um, because for $20, you can come and watch uh, University of Connecticut, uh, Georgia, and Northwestern um, all for, under, for $20. I don't know um, any other uh, type of entertainment you can actually go to three games for that, for that amount of money. So we're very excited about it. We're expecting the UConn game to be our first ever sellout in the history of our program. And I just want to encourage all of you to come out and support us. Um, you know, and, and also have an opportunity to see some of the, the best college women's basketball in the country. Um, and, and, and in the addition, Maya Moore, the national reigning national player of the year in her senior year um, right here in Alexander Memorial Coliseum on November 21st. I just, again, encourage everyone to go ahead and get their season tickets um, because season t single tickets don't go on sale until October. And again, we're, we're expecting a sellout for that game, uh, Georgia Tech versus UConn, November 21st. Well, we really hope our fans are going to take advantage of these packages. And our actual, our actual team has been going out in the community themselves and promoting the season. And one of the events that they did this year, this summer, was they got to go to an Atlanta Dream game and uh, promote their own season and ask people to come and support them. How did that go? Well, it was a tremendous opportunity for our, for our student athletes and also for our staff just to get out in the community, have the opportunity to watch a WNBA game together firsthand. For our, for our um, Swedish players, it was just an eye-opening experience, I think, to be able to go to a WNBA game and see that live. Yeah. So it was being at the game was a, a tremendous opportunity. We we have uh, we have we're so thankful to uh, Kathy Betty and the the owner of the Atlanta Dream and and the entire Dream Operations. Um, crew for how they, they provided us with that opportunity because it was just a tremendous exposure for Georgia Tech women's basketball and, and we really enjoyed the opportunity to, to firsthand get to shake hands with people and, and invite them out to our games and to be a part of our uh, success this season. 
Well, we thank the Dream for allowing us to be there. And another event that we did with our community this year was um, our season ticket holders. For all of our season ticket holders, we hold a meet and greet just for them. They get to be up close and personal with the players and the coaches. What's it like to be able to meet some of our biggest fans uh, in that type of atmosphere? Well, I think it's really important, not only for our fans, um, for us to meet our fans, but also our fans to have the opportunity to come face to face with our players. I think uh, the greatest thing about uh, Georgia Tech women's basketball is our student athletes and the fact that we're able to put them in, out in front of our, our fans and they get the opportunity not only to shake their hand but to have a conversation with them and realize just how special these young ladies are, not only on the floor but off the floor as well. It's just a tremendous opportunity and you know we look forward to it because it's an opportunity for us to give back uh, to people that, that support us and so we just enjoy those kind of op those situations and we're thankful uh, to our marketing folks at Georgia Tech and and the the, the fact that our boosters are, are they come out uh, in September August September to support us this early um, just shows the enthusiasm and the excitement that's surrounding the program well we thank all of our season ticket holders and we hope that you guys will become season ticket holders and call 1-888-TECH-TICKS today or go online to ramblinrec.com. Remember, season tickets are as low as $45. The gold pack is only $20. We play some amazing ACC teams this year, Virginia, UNC, and some other big games such as UConn and UGA. So you really do not want to miss this. Coach, thank you so much. And thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Go Jackets.